To Howard Safer right now, the former NYPD commissioner. Uh, commissioner, we always seem to talk on these type of events and afterwards, so feel bad about that. But I learn a lot when you do uh, update us on what you think. And, and, and what we're learning and piecing together about the shooter uh, is that he wasn't on a lot of people's radar, but he was certainly on social media radar. I mean, he, he posted over the years some, some pretty vile and upsetting and scary videos and postings, uh, and, and yet that was not shared uh, until it was too late. What do you make of that? Well, I think you put it right where it should be. It's social media that really needs to cooperate with law enforcement and report. You know, they have algorithms that instantly tell if somebody doesn't agree with their political views and they uh, take that person off. They certainly should be able to determine when a young man, 18 to 21, posts these violent paintings on social media about killing people. You know, there are red flag laws, but if the red flag, flag individuals who enforce them don't have the data, they're useless. Um, you know, Howard, I was thinking, that we, we believe that he had pre-planned this attack for weeks, uh, not just a little while, but, but for weeks, um, that he used this high-powered weapon, that it was purchased legally, we're told, in Illinois. Uh, and I'm just wondering what you make of, of some of this. Uh, some of the things that came to light on him personally was that he was quiet, didn't seem to have any friends, kept to himself. That, that, that's almost a consistent description of, of those who, who do this kind of thing. What do you make of it all? We don't need to make a profile. We've had 300 mass shootings. The majority of them are committed by males, 18 to 21, uh, who are on social media, who are generally loners. Uh, it's a profile that should be reported. The problem is he purchased the gun legally because even the gun law that was just passed is only going to prevent people from under 21 from purchasing them. It's not going to prevent straw purchases. It's not going to prevent the 350 million guns that are out there getting into the hands of people who want to commit these violent acts. We have to do real, real law enforcement. And that includes making sure social media reports, making sure red flag laws have access to data, making sure that schools report rather than trying to put under covers uh, disparate acts by these kind of individuals. We are at a point now where anybody is a target. And in, in, in places where you normally don't think of, of, of being a target, right? I mean, in, in a parade, for one thing. In Copenhagen, over the weekend, we saw a shooting in a mall. A lot of people don't think of, of shootings there, just as they didn't before a few years ago, shootings in movie theaters. And, as, of course, we saw that in Aurora, Colorado. I'm just beginning to wonder whether this gives people pause. They're always looking over their shoulder. Not that these are events that are common, but, but the places that they're occurring used to be not very common. So what do you make of that? Well, these are senseless acts, but they're on soft targets. A parade is a soft target. A supermarket is a soft target. A Walmart is a soft target. We have to make sure that we have enough information about these individuals, including if we all have to give up a little bit of our privacy, so that we can determine who these people are before they commit the acts. Now, once we capture one of these guys, that's a failure. He's already killed people senseless, senselessly. We have got to get more data. We have got to make sure that I know that it's impossible politically to get a ban on assault weapons, but there's certainly ways to make sure that young people can access them. And we're just not doing it. But if there was nothing in his past, save some of his rants on the, on the Internet, uh, to, to prevent him from getting such weapons. And as you point out, it's not part of the legislation that Congress passed. Should it be added in there? Absolutely. We should definitely have a red flag law that says if you post on social media or if you send letters or if you verbalize that you're going to hurt somebody with a gun, that immediately law enforcement should go to this person's house and make sure if he has any guns that they're taken away and put him on notice that he's on the radar. All this right. is somebody who just killed somebody, uh, seven people senselessly. It really makes me angry, Neil. Uh, understandably, Howard, and, and that he was planning it for potentially weeks. Uh, Howard Safer, the former NYPD 
Commissioner. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.